This is Jamie Lewis and today I'm going to be giving you a marketing cleansing. We're going to be talking about how you can optimize your game. Make sure that you're a winner, not a loser. As you know, there's a big epidemic of fakery, entitlement, and laziness. It's like a big sickness. It's like a plague. And so I'm here to help fix that. Let's go to the whiteboard. All right, this is your marketing training. You're gonna understand this is in reference to everything marketing, everything production, everything creativity, everything artistry, everything innovation. Crack that artificial intelligence code, visit Mars, how we're trying to do these important things. You have to understand this is all project oriented. This isn't task oriented. You as a business person, you're the person who's positioned to make those very important decisions in terms of your team and who else is going to be implementing your ideas that you have come up with as a creative human. Step number one, push that shit through like a baby. Every time you're working and you can't do it, and you're, oh, I'm such a, you know, da da da. You have to think that to yourself, right? Push that shit through like a baby. It's not fair for you to think it's everyone else's fault and this and that, it's your fault because you know what? A woman giving birth, it sucks, all right? You have never had to give birth and so, Every time that I'm in the trenches, really, boom, 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 we're talking 16 hours of problem solving, communication with the team, these people depending on you for your ideas, and you have to tell yourself, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's like labor. It really is. As you know, 20 hours, 24 hours, it's, good. it's natural, all right? It's, there's gonna be birth. That's the way you should think of your projects. And then once it is born, that's your baby. Now, it's up to you, it's your responsibility to feed it, change it, diaper it, all that. All right, understand? So push that shit through like a baby. That's rule number one. Rule number two is very, very important. Take off some time, you know what I mean? Like, go to the golf range or go to a bar, or whatever you like to do in everyday life. But you have to remember that step number two Fly straight. Very, very important. What I mean by that is it's a very, very competitive environment. Don't go off the rails, all right? Don't derail and don't be a, a problem or a hazard to others around you. If you were in my office, I would just kick the shit out of you and I'd just throw you out. Fly straight. You ever heard that term before? Very, very important. It's like walking a tight wire. You have to be perfect in life and in business. You have to be perfect. If you derail, it could mean a, a just a gigantic disaster. It's like a domino effect or a chain reaction. Us entrepreneurs face that fear every day. We face it head on and we do not derail. We have it perfect. And the way that we do that, I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain. But symptoms of someone not flying straight is for instance when they get a time zone wrong and they call you in the middle of editing video and their name comes up and you're like, oh my God. And, and you're like, you don't want to forget what you're doing because if you forget what you're doing when you're video editing, it could be a big problem. That's why artists close the door and they turn on music and they paint their pictures and they have concentration. And they, you know what I mean? You have to have concentration when you're doing things. And so therefore, someone who got the time, they had an appointment and they got the time zone wrong. They call twice and three times. So that's not flying straight. That person will have all sorts of problems. It's like the type of thing when you buy a lemon, all right? If you were to buy a car and it's a lemon, the first thing that goes wrong with it, you put in the key and the ignition doesn't work, you're like, all right, strike one. Two weeks later, something else goes wrong with it. Strike two, strike three, it's gonna continue to happen. You know what I mean? So taking self-responsibility uh, very, very seriously is very, very important. All right, so fly straight, that's rule two. Number three, punishment should fit the crime. For those who do not fly straight, all right, there are very, very serious consequences. Now, these consequences are reasonable though, all right? And this could be a good thing. You know, as, as you know, this could be something where it's like, you know what, you're being too harsh on that person. You know what I mean? That poor person, he does not deserve that type. That happens all the time. But if you were to hire someone, right? And I, if I was to hire this guy, Alex, and he worked his ass off on something, right? Alex is working for uh, a week for me, all right? Halfway through the week, he's like, hey man, could you make that milestone payment? And so I make an $800 milestone payment, right? Yeah, 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 here's your payment, man. And then he keeps working and then he's like, all right, man, I'm done. And I'm like, great, thank you. He's like, and you release that, at least that first milestone payment. See, I was already a little bit behind. He's working for me. And so I'm like, no, you know what, man, I'm not gonna pay you or whatnot. What, this guy was just working. What, what do you think, he's your slave or something? So that person who did not pay Alex for working for him, you know what I mean? Punishment should fit the crime. Now, I'm not advocating for this person to be, you know, killed or something, but, at the 
very least, everyone has to hear about that. You should do a blog on that experience with that employer. And that's the first thing. And then second of all, get paid, all right? Now, if you're having problems and you can't get paid, you feel like you put in work and you didn't get paid for that work that you put in. And it was, you know, the agreement, $20 an hour, $50 an hour, whatever. A blog ain't gonna cut it. You gotta go a little bit more hardcore with that, all right? Get your money. Number four, organize. What I mean by that is very, very simple. We had a song in 1995 called Organize, and it was a hip-hop jazz song, actually. And what the song was about was we would get so high off of our ass that we would totally get confused with our album, we'd forget the names of our songs and stuff, and so that was something that I used to tell everyone because we were retarded. And so I would say, organize it. We named the song Organize It. It was like this little jazz, you know, rapping over the little swing beat. It was very, very interesting. And so anyway, Organize It is very, very important is, is to this day, but now it applies to you because I'm not that man anymore, but you are. So you need to realize that you need to organize everything you're doing and you have to keep post-its and make sure that you don't mess up and then violate all these other rules. All right, so number five, score high or go home. What that means is you should always be scoring yourself. Scale of one to 10. All right, you did a task, where'd you score? Did you get a 90%, like an A, or did you get a, a, a C, 70, all right? Now, you can calculate those types of things in your head, but always do scale of one to 10 with everything that you do. Even like, um, how is my vision doing right now on a scale of one to 10? Well, I think it's a 10, I can see what it says there. All right, so anyway, look, number six, don't get it twisted. You might've heard this before. In violation of all these rules, you can see where that happens, all right? You're getting things twisted. You're not understanding certain things, and then you start to think that because of this, that is going to be like that. What happened? Why do we have to always go in one direction only? You gotta think all over the place, all right? Like, here, remember all of the other factors that could affect how you think that this is the, something serious, or I, oh, you know what, I have this, I solved the problem. No, check all of the other, you know, play devil's advocate, let's go, all right? Don't get it twisted. All right, number seven, grow octopus arms and legs. This is very, very important because you have to multitask, you have to do 10 things at the same time. When I am building a website, for instance, and I'm, and I'm done with the website, I take the files and I drop them into the FTP. Now a little box comes up. I can't use my web editor for like 15 more minutes. What do I do during that 15 minutes? I finish up editing the video. Now I press render because I made a whole bunch of green screen things and it has to render. Now it's rendering, that, that's uploading. Oh, go to Skype. Oh crap, there's 10 people who've talked to me. What, while it's rendering and, and uploading. All right, talk to, okay, and everything, and then click on that person's name, and then all of a sudden, they're talking about something totally different. All right, calculate, what are they talking about? Boom, 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 yeah, make decision, boom, 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 bam. Now he's set, and then all of them are set. Come back, now you're back to the HTML, all right, now I gotta do the JV page. Is it done rendering? You're always thinking of octopus arms and legs, all right? Grow octopus arms and legs, multitask, make sure that you're doing a million things at the same time, basically, all right? Look, number eight, don't be a window shopper and get your species correct. I put two, topics at the bottom because I couldn't fit in anymore. Window shopper is someone who ain't serious, all right? Oh, I'm gonna walk into your store and I'm gonna give you, you know what I mean? Like, come on, let's go. Who has time for that anyway? I don't have time to do that, you know what I mean? And also, don't be a flake. All right, yeah, here's my number or whatever, and then like, you're never going to, you know what I mean? Like, just be serious. Get your species correct, all right? We're talking, are you a wolf? Are you a sheepdog? Are you a sheep? Are you a rat? Or are you a bat? You can be all of those five. The only difference between bat and rat is one has wings. 